this might be the jewelry. She found this in there. Ooh, little pearls. An 18 karat gold, maybe? Dude, these are gold. That's freaking gold. That's gold. These are 14 karat. Look at that beautiful white jade. And the inside is where it looks real creepy. A real shrunken head. We got a storage unit right here. 10 by 20, we paid. 3,300 plus expenses, 3,600. This right here tells a tale of a tragedy. You do not want to know what I did with that painting that was there. Anyway, we're hoping to find more. There's a lot in this storage unit, a lot of intent. This is one of the first items. We're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna set the truck up and we're gonna get unboxing. Mom's nativity scene. What the heck is up with this medieval looking Santa? That is like the Gumby of Santa's right there. That is kind of cool. That's a good figure actually, made in Italy. That's not part of that set, but she just had some decoration there. All right, go mom. <sighs> Brush, nickel, LED, electric, one, okay, cord, clear, vintage. I guess they're for in your house, not, I was thinking outdoors, but maybe these would be good to save for when we buy a home, we have stuff like this. Yeah, stuff like that I would save for when we buy a home, because you never know what we'll use it for. Oh, that's kind of cool, gnome crossing. I'll put this in a good box for Alameda. Somebody's hand, I'm gonna save this stuff for the people. We got a second one of these. Like I said, I'm gonna say, cause like, think about it. Like, you don't even have to use them in your house. What if you build a nice little veranda outside and you got like five or four nice fish that saves you money? It doesn't feel like anything's in here. No, something was like, what, a TV? Smart? Film. I'm gonna guess that was like a monitor. You know what? It looks for like a monitor, like a freaking, like an iMac. The angle of it or something, maybe. I don't know. But sadly, there's nothing in it. Oh, I like that. You know what that stands for, right? That means this unit's the W. Mm. This looks like a straight trash box. We'll see. The Book of Mormon. They were Mormons? Okay, let's just go right there. Okay. It's like wedding stuff and glitter. And we have, um, weird weirdness. Let's take a look in here. We have, um, what is? It's a light. Okay. We have Stanton Optical. Nothing in it. We have a monkey. That's kind of cool. And a wood bowl. Almost cool. What is this made by? Dursted by Oberlet. And that sounds nice. So I'm going to keep that aside. We have Crestor filled and there's nothing in it. Is there a gift card? No. Nope. These look like something. And then there's nothing else in here. That was this whole box. The one thing we want to do is check the, the personal stuff because, like, the woman was an artist, so there's, like, art-type things you know, that can involve her. Well, then check her diploma and see if she went to school for art. What is this? The essentials of Tai Chi and Kui Kuang. It's a whole thing on how to be Tai Chi and Kui Kuang. That's kind of awesome. A Bluetooth thing. Uh, <laughs> it might be. Oh, look, that is... There's hazardous stuff in there. I just Ooh. said that. Be careful. Was it the stuff there? The meth they're doing? Let's see this. We're gonna save this towards the end, guys. This might be the jewelry. She found this in there. We'll go through this towards the end because we got a lot to do. We'll probably take this home and hopefully it'll be the money. I'm like when you see this word when you get in there. Coins. That was an interesting little box. Had coins. We'll, like I said, we'll go through this towards the end of the video or take this home. We're gonna, our main goal, because we're an hour and a half away, is to get through as much as we can. Ooh, a fire TV. Those might be uh, a little, a fire TV, that's a few bucks. We have a, is that a Vera Bradley? Some weird stuff, very bohemian. A lot of little things that, I, like I said, uh, I'm trying to be organized, so I'm setting aside for each market what I'm doing with it. Like, this is an Alameda item. 
Vera Bradley, that's 15, 20 bucks easily in Alameda. Not to mention the style is on point. Bohemian style like this, I don't think that's the right style. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Like same thing. That is probably a $15 purse there. At my other markets, that is a buck. Very uniquely packed. Here's a Rossetti. That is almost a nice purse. What is this? MMS. I'm going to set those aside with those for now. Laura Scott. I don't know. Dee Dee's Room. Some Stuffed Animals. 66220. Ooh, come on. Dee Dee's Jewelry. That's what, that's what I like to see. I think that's a... What the hell is that? Okay. This is cool material right here. There's a lot of material in this unit, guys. She did something with it. I don't know what, but this is kind of neat. That's a nice little piece. It's got a lizard on it and stuff. What is this guy? That is from the movie Dragons. Or How to Train Your Dragon. Okay. I'll just go into the next box and make some room. Oh, what is this? Okay, whew, not what I thought it was. Weird, just bags of things that I have to go th so heavily through. This is Native American. Look at that. That's a little ribbon. And then we have ooh, a little jewelry box. Nope. Is this a Tiffany jewelry box right here? Mm, Victoria Rose, Kamiko. It's all right. Ooh, almost broken. That's old. Pirates of the Caribbean, awesome movie. Here is like parts for sewing and stuff like that. Where do I remember finding stamps trees? I know I found some the other day. Was it in here? These are stickers. Christmas stickers. You need Christmas stickers? Oh my. Oh, is that a Fendi? I think I see a Fendi. I hear the police. They're coming for you, woman. Ooh, is that a good camera? It's a Canon EOS Rebel. That's not the greatest camera, but that's a couple of dollars right there. Nice little digital Canon EOS. And going further, we have a vintage purse. That'll go to Alameda. Oh, what the heck is this? Look at that. Christopher Ross. Look at that belt buckle. Oh my, was that a solid gold elephant right there? Probably not, but that is pretty tight. I like the interestingness of it. It, make, it gives me more hope for things. That's another vintage purse. The Fendi is a little, it's a little beat, but it's vintage and it's genuine. And that in itself has value. So we're going to take all that stuff. Ooh, there's another one. Look at that, two vintage Fendi's. Always check your purses. Always check check every crevice. A lot of people get, and they get to their stores. I do this myself a lot, and I just go through stuff too fast. And you never know where that diamond ring is or where the hidden envelope of money is. What do we have here? Ruby Chanel. Day Lore. I don't know what that is. That's still pretty cool, though. I got excited for a second there. And we got another. Ooh. What the heck? Christopher Ron, 1991. I gotta look those up because I never seen one like that. And a handful of little purses. This is a, this is starting to be a, a pretty decent apparel locker for Alameda, which will be nice for retrieving our revenue back on this storage unit. Holy lipstick! Oh, she bought good stuff though. Look, should I re try to resell this Chanel? Chanel, comment below. I'll set this aside if you guys want to see this bag with the Chanel and stuff. I don't know. Some people like use makeup, some don't. But comment below. I'll set this aside for now. And by the time this comes out, it'll still exist. This is kind of neat. Mary Lou would like that, huh? Yeah, probably. Is that another sewing machine? Oh, okay. That sounds kind of neat. I'm looking for jewelry if you see any. Here's a camera lens. Oh nice a nikon and we just had found this so that's kind of cool there's just little things everywhere to set aside to look up dolazamine eiffelite whatever that is a bag of change 
a Hellbros that is not gold. Um, a syringe looking thing. Come on, be the money. Gold coins. Nope. Oh, what do we got here? We got some lenses. Um, some change. Nice. I'll have to film it soon. Those are some cheap lenses, but they're still cool. Like these I'll probably take to Alameda. People love lenses out there. I'm uncertain though. Oh, nice. A Canon. This could be a good 7 by 300 lens. That is actually probably at least a $100 lens right there. I like that. Band-Aids. We don't need any of those currently. I think we have some. How to draw. How to draw. What do we have here? Some little... Do you need any of these trinkets? No. It almost reminds me of like a Disney cartoon cell. But I definitely want to look that up because... It, you know you know how ca cartoons are drawn like this? They're little cells. And this looks like a cell. But I don't know. There goes the birds. Popshali. This looks Native American actually. This is intriguing. I'm very excited to look at some of this stuff because it's not... When you don't, when I don't know something, that makes it interesting. And she has a lot of weird art, like she was friends with somebody, or I don't know what she did, but J. Damaris Facet. That is kind of cool right there. That's kind of kind of weird. Anybody has any idea on these things? These just look like prints that she printed, so I'm not really. You know, that is nothing. Sari again. That must have been somebody she liked. Sari again. And then this print of a woodblock print. That's a that would be a nice woodblock print to find, I'll tell you that much. It's made in Paris, so it's gotta be cool. You, you know how I feel about French things? Shut up. It's a perfume bottle. No, it's a no, it's candle. Like a diffuser. He put some mm. kind of oil or something in it. It's neat. Maybe Alameda? I don't know. Mm. Family photos and stuff. Yeah. Oh, dang. Come on, baby. This is like the one thing you want to see when you go in something. Oh, this one's open. Men's warehouse. I don't know what that is. This is probably personal paperwork. This is probably personal paperwork. What in the What is this? Oh, it's open. Please. Be like seven million dollars in cash. Or like gold bricks or something. Come on. On three, two, one. It's empty. Oh. That is sad. Cool box, though. Okay, anything you need that for? Ah, dun, dun, dun. This one's drilled out. Three, two, one. Okay, there's important nail in here. Oh, there's something underneath here. Oh, I'm not gonna complain about that, am I? Look at this. Look at these. That looks like something nice to go through later, guys. Why does that say uh, a uh, $725 proof dime on there? Old $1 bills. We got another passport and we got a key that might go to something we need, huh? Think that goes to a gun case? Mm -hmm. Is that what you think? Maybe. You're just making that up now. Take a moment to at least look what we got in here, and yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. 1958. So we got a 1958 nickel. We have to go through this a little better. Can't leave no stone unturned in this unit. 1978. 1988. What else we got in here? March. No. Mom and Leon. It could be a... Uh, Dang, I was like, they left money in here for us. What do we got, a gift certificate? Come on. Is it in here? Oh, yes, jackpot. There's money everywhere in this. There's money everywhere in this. 
Let's give that to Evie. If you want to. She's going to want the $2 bills. Ah, it's makeup. Looks like nothing. Nothing usable or good in there. Nope. All right. That was still exciting because we have a whole bag of change. We'll add that bag of change to the end of the video with the jewelry back at the house. Let's take a quick gander in here just to see what we got. They're bent over, but there's just one. Ooh. A one dollar, a one dollar. Oh, you think you know everything? I think you cheated and you used a different key. No, look. You can play back the piano. Mm -hmm. I can play. Oh, this is, let me see this. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, it says, ancestors of Lexington Russells, as they were always designated, came over from England early. It's a whole little story of the family. Ancestry of Kezia Pierce Russell, ancestry. Now we know the family history. No, these are business cards. Get me all excited. They ran a business of some form. Is that worth anything? It's worth at least three, four bucks. Water resistant. No. Is it ephemeral? Like sellable stuff? Mm. Yeah, that does look ephemeral. I'll take a gander with you then. Oh, yeah. Check this out. High school diplomas. We've got, oh, don't bend, don't bend. Oh, yes. This will be some form of ephemera. All right. What kind of knives do they use? You tell a lot about a person by the knife. I imagine we're going to find a silver set, maybe. This is all kitchen. Mm, that is kind of nice. That is modern Danish. Made in Denmark. Some sheets. This one's been heavily gone through. I thought this had a better, better hopes when I first opened it. Remember, I'm looking for vintage clothing for Alameda. So anything that's vintage, we want to set aside. HD supply, repair and remodel. What is that for? Oh, I thought that was like Harley Davidson. Come on. Ooh, here we go. Come on, baby. Be something good. It's a shroom. It's a liquid... Mm. The Grateful Dead's the most important tag is this. That's the money tag. This is whatever it is. It's at least a hundred dollar shirt. Could be two hundred bucks right there. That made me happy. That's why I like clothes. Remember when I used to say I hate clothes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I'm a flip flopper. I flip flopped. Who? What is this? Hanes. Just the tie dye, S double stitch. I'll set that aside still. It's not a liquid blue, but I like the liquid blue. G a Gildan. It's just vintage tie-dye here. Okay. Is there anything down here towards the bottom we need to see? Those look kind of... Those look like somebody in Alameda is going to want those. Oh, yes. Okay. This clothes. Basic clothes here. Um, my guess is it's going to be an art set. These are these are all right, but they're just not valuable. These I'm kind of liking. I don't know what they are, but there's something about these are freaking. Wait a minute. Are these Native American? Let me pull this stuff out slowly here, because I don't want to damage anything. This is definitely Alameda right here. Anytime we find one of these, so you know what? This looks like one I would actually keep. It's like going to swim in Cancun. I don't know what these are right here, but these look pretty dang nice. I'm not sure about them. I think they're Native American. Let's see what else is in here. This is interesting. A whole nother set of them. I do not know, but I think we have some money. 
I don't know. This is something trippy. She was at a store. Oh, this is just her weird style. That's Vera Bradley. All right, pirates, here we are. We got a lot more to go through in this unit. There's this right here. We're loading for the flea market. We just found this. I'm waiting to see if this is some jackpot stuff because I think this is nice. And we got all of this right here to go through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that stuff right there. But most importantly, coming back to this, I'm going to go home and I'm going to go through this one bucket of stuff. It's jewelry, coins, all sorts of stuff. That'll be here in a minute. So just stay tuned. We're going to go home and we'll get through that at the end of this video. And we're going to start the next video. We're going to go through all this right now. This is some type of art thing. We got jewelry, jewelry. This is a whole bag of jewelry. We've got coins. This envelope says coins. I don't know. We're going to go to it. We're going to get to it. We're going to go through it. The party. Ooh, little pearls. An 18 karat gold, maybe? Those are nice. Those are black pearls, too. Um, that's not 14 karat gold though, maybe silver. All right. And then we'll come in here and it looks like she was making these or something, look. Here's some white gold, here's a bunch of pearls. Oh, what do we got here? Isn't that white gold, what is this? I don't know the answer to that, but it's got a lock on it. This doesn't look like gold to me, but there's something on there. That's fire right there. Damn, if that is white gold, those would be diamonds. I'm gonna have to look into this because I don't know what it is. And there's a handful of pearls here. There's a very intriguing unit and stuff, you know? Look at all those pearls. Mm -hmm. I'll be having a coin star video. Look at these pesos. This is telling me to go back to Mexico. That's what that says. Go to Mexico. Handful of pesos. And here we had a bunch of coins earlier. I saw a few of them. Like this, in 1978 with the stamp and so forth. Those will end up on the auction. Those are definitely not a coin star video right now. 1988, that was a year. What were you guys doing in 1988? That's a nickel. Me, I was uh, probably in like the first grade, second grade, 1958. 1959, that's a dime, dropping dime. This is a silver dime out there. That'll go in the collection. So, uh, let's see what we got here. We got some beautiful flowers. These are kind of exquisite right here. Where are they? Clip-on earrings. Oh, those are nice. They say words on them, too. Let me get my magnifying glass. They say Western Germany. That's not bad, though. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm going to speculate. This one says Western Germany, too. Then you come in here and we got a great selection of dollars. Let's see. Let's see if there's any uh, star notes on here, what they are. In payable and the silver. Sucks that they were in the bag like that for so long. So they have the permanent fold over. They have another one. We have a $5 red certificate. We have another $5 red certificate. We have a $5 red certificate. These will probably end up in the auction. We got $2 bills. I think we could... Look, at somebody actually mailed that. Can you believe that? They put the stamp on it, and they freaking mailed it. Is that even a thing? I the Wow, each one of them does. Interesting. You see that? 2019. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go in here. Let's see what we got. Let's just kind of pull it out here. Can we see that? Let's come over here a little bit. So right off the bat, what do we got? Um, this is silver 1958, 1950. That's a cool little set, all 1958, so silver, silver. These, I think, are just, they're basically worth, what, a dollar, dollar fifty, I don't know. Do we have any that strike out to us? Here we go, this one that stands out to me. It is a 1956 Ben Franklin. We have a 1970 quarter. We have... A 1950 dime, that one's silver. We have a 1946 silver. 
I'll show you guys how I do it and you guys can tell me. 1952 silver, because I'm, I'm drawn to the silver. 1952 silver. This one is a 57 silver right here. Here we have a 1964 silver dime. You come in here as a 1936 quarter. Look at that one, that is old. My mind, my brain spots out the silver. A lot of people laugh me and say I'm full of crap that I can't see the silver. 1964. We have a 1967. That's 40 percenter right there. That's a 40 percenter. That's not. That's not right there, is it? Yes, it is. 1962. I like this one right here. This is a 1903. Uh, Indian head penny. We've got a 1928 quarter. So that's not bad. We got a handful of silver pieces here. 1967. That's another 40 percenter. 40 percenter. 40 percenter. Where are you going? The 1902. Look at that. That's an old quarter there. That's not bad. That all adds up. This is the type of stuff, you know, we just set aside. 1936. That is a mercury dime silver. A 1948 dime. This is, this is bad right here. Look at that. 1923. 1923 piece dollar. I like the shape it's in. That's bad right there. Made my day. Another 40%, nope, full 80%, 90% there, 1964. We've got some type of German dime that looks to be, or nickel, that, man, dime, it says five. Looks to be silver, too. Indian head penny, come on, or buffalo nickel, please be three-legged. No, it's not. Always keep your eye out for the three-legged buff buffalo nickel. 1972 proof. I don't know what that's worth, but we'll set that aside. That's not bad, though. We got a handful of good coins there. There's still some cool coins here. Like, I don't even know what some of these are, so how do I tell you if they're valuable? But I know the silver makes me want to be put them away. 50 cents to Tavo, so that looks silver. While we're on coins. Oh, man, look at that. Hold on, let's just pull it all out here. One bag. Something. Coins. Coins. Please be the gold coin. Interesting. Okay, we got those there. Oh my, what's that? This is, I like this. Oh, they're in paper. Come on. 1961D, is that something special? I don't know. Look at that right there. That is Pirate's Booty. They're uh, centavos, um, is that what they are? Mexican centavos, no? Jeez. Maybe something good in here? Just a little. I don't know, this is a tangled, jumbled mess. Those look like gold. Hold on. That is gold. I feel like they are. I'll look at them a little closer in a minute. They look like gold. And the, the way the backs are, but I could be wrong. That, you see how look, wow. Tell me I'm tripping. Tell me I'm tripping right here, but does that right there not have a stamp on the on the end of it? The back of the earring does right there. You can see that. Here's the loop right there. Mm, yeah, Dude, these are gold. Them. These are some weird freaking gold. They have to be. Come on. We're going to get... I think for the sake of argument, guys, what we'll do is we'll just lay all the pieces of jewelry out and then I'll come back and recap for you because there's a lot of pieces here and it'll take a lot of time if I just open them up one at a time. So what I'll do is I'll lay them all. Oh my. Dude, I think this is really somebody's handmade gold. Just look at these. I, I, I know gold when I see it. That's freaking gold. 
I'm gonna go through all these pieces inside of here, inside of there. This box right here is full of it. And I'll lay all the jewelry and coins out and I'll just recap here at the end. As you can see, we're doing, we've already been doing that, but we wanna speed up the process a little bit. <laughs> this is pretty incredible, guys. I'm finished going through all this stuff. I've laid it out. We showed you most of this stuff here. I've already showed you. And I think I even skipped a few coins. Like, look, there's a possible silver one. This one's 40% or I could tell right there, 68. So we put that there. Handful of silver coins right here. We've got the silver certificates. We've got bags and bags of foreign coins and even American coins. Look at all of these centavoses and francs and some other ones. I don't know what they all are. We've got some neat trinkets here. The trinkets added up real quick too. I like trinkets, don't get me wrong. Stuff like this. Beads, I'm almost concerned, like there's so many little beads like this stuff right here. I'm almost concerned that those might be something cool. Some little clackers. This is pretty neat right here. This right here, look at that. That is wicked. What do you think that this tooth went to? Comment below, what do you think that that was from? A lion? A tiger? We come over here, we got all sorts of stuff like that. Parts, I'll put this in lots, and I wanna do some research, cause some of the stuff is native, and I think South American. Like if you look at this piece here, this one looks silver, and it looks like it's made of apples or something. I don't know, it's really neat. I'm gonna be doing some research here. This piece as well. You come over here, and this one here was very unique. It's very heavy. It's kind of cool. I wish it was gold. I highly doubt it is. That would be unique. I don't think there, I think I see green though. But then you got a lot of silver here. Check this all out. This is all the silver pieces that I've accumulated. This one's a native br bracelet right here. And we found a bunch of those in the first jewelry boxes. And it's crazy that this stuff was better than jewelry boxes. All this neat silver stuff right here. Look at that. Sterling Native American pieces there. These right here are really nice. Look at that. Wedgewood. Wedgewood cufflink and buttons. And this is also really nice right here. These are gold filled. I did find a beautiful pair of gold ones and I'm going to show you in a minute. But look at those. It's a pair of these gold filled like beetles. And you come over here and this is... This work, it's real good. Look, at first I laughed at these, right? At first, I, I, at first glance, I almost tossed them aside, right? But then I, what struck me and I kept touching them, I kept touching them, I'm like, that looks like gold, right? Like, I, I think that's gold. That clasp right there, see how there's no weld mark in it? I don't know how well we can see that, but usually there's a weld mark when they're fake, like it's broken. It's, it's like not even welded. This one is like solid, like it was welded and polished, et cetera, et cetera. But you flip it over, if you look real closely, it says the name Sonia. Did a little research. Sonia makes 18 karat and 14 karat gold. And I almost, um, almost shot myself, I think, because this is gold. Look at that. This piece here, right? Then we got these right here. These are Sonia. These were in Sonia um, bags. That's gold. That's gold. are gold they're unmarked that's what's crazy she has a lot of jewelry that's like that same with these when i pulled these out of the sonia bag see right here sonia these were uh they're i don't believe they're marked but they are clearly gold they're freaking phenomenal earrings tell me those aren't dope uh, these are costume right here i get excited i get excited with this stuff these are 14 karat look at that beautiful white jade Look at that beautiful white jade. Clearly marked right there, 14 karat. These are like clip-on earrings, kinda. We ended up with two beautiful bracelets. Then we got a, another pair of this, 18 karat, I think. Um, Sonya earrings right here. Oh yeah, no, these are 18 karat, but they're, I don't know if they're Sonya. See how they're, you could see them scratched. You could see them, they're homemade. This is freaking amazing though. And then these, I think, are costume. Those are gold. That's gold. These are gold right here. And then these bad boys right here are actually gold too, 14 karat. I think that's pretty freaking amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm really, really shocked with that beautiful stones there. We come over here. This is really wicked. 
there's probably a good three four grams of gold right there i'll have to pound it out of the teeth and stuff like that but this is actual gold oh there's a lot of gold there actually oh my gosh that's like a good let's say a bunch of gold right there a little creepy but it is what it is then you come over here and this piece right here i think is gold too these stones careful michael these stones are like amethyst, but I think the beads in the inside are gold too. This will probably end up, on, most of this will end up on the auction. We're hoarding for the winter time, but we'll be doing auctions again soon. And we have all of that right there. And now, that's a pretty good hoard. Now I wanna show you something, the last and final item of this reveal, recap. It's quite creepy, very unique, very odd. We, I think we showed it earlier, and I didn't even realize how odd it was, but this is one of the freakiest things I think I've ever found in a storage unit. And I've found some, I've found some things. The first glance is just a box, right? And we opened this up earlier, but. This is creepy. I don't even know if I want to touch it. Let me just pull it out here. I want you guys to examine this and you tell me what you think. Cause I think this is an actual real thing, but this thing is so well made very not well preserved this woman she did some weird stuff she has some uh something to do with selling antiques and collectibles and stuff and the inside is where it looks real creepy a real shrunken head i don't know and if it is real i'm gonna keep this i already told the little woman we should keep this because when are we ever gonna find a real human head a shrunken head I think it's like, maybe it's like good luck or bad luck, but we now are like responsible for the soul. It's like I have the, uh, the collection of human remains. This was an insane unit and we've just started. We had the mishap day one where we threw the, uh, we didn't throw it, we left the possibly priceless painting, fly off the back of the truck on the freeway. We're on two days later, we're still tracking it down. It's on the side of the freeway, I drove by today. I'm gonna find a way to get it, I don't know how. This unit has been interesting since day one because of that. That's a good start there. We've already got a second video coming out soon, the next video, so don't forget to check that out. Also, shout out to the editor for doing a fabulous job in helping us keep this hustle grind rewind in the forward motion that we love. Shout out to them. Don't forget the like button, share button, subscribe, and let them know you love it too. Ah.